Yo, what is going on guys? It's Juan Solo here with A Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more State of Decay 2. So in today's video, we're actually going to be going over the in-game vehicle storage as well as the character inventory screen and exactly how the inventory works, what you can carry, what you can't carry, that sort of thing. And then we're also going to be going over the, the supply locker inventory, how much stuff you can actually hold in the supply locker because up until this point we really didn't have a number and you guys are probably going to be surprised on what that number is. Um, I actually confirmed all this with the dev so this is accurate information and stuff so we're gonna jump right into it so the first thing that we're gonna be looking at is the actual vehicle storage so depending on what vehicle you have it's gonna be showing you different inventory areas so that you can put different stuff in your vehicle the one really cool thing about vehicles depending on how many slots of storage they have they can haul as many rucksacks as storage slots so for instance you can only have one rucksack of materials on your character but for instance if you have a vehicle that has eight slots like you see here you could put eight rucksacks of materials in there so here we actually have a full list of vehicles and their storage capacity description and stuff like that big shout out to datitude as well i will put his link down in the description again just like i did with the base video the other day dude has compiled all the information from all the trailers and stuff like that and put it into a nice little spreadsheet here so you can see that we have a bunch of different vehicles um, with three slots four slots five slots six slots and then obviously we have your cargo van and your repair vans that have eight slots so those are going to be huge for basically going out looting materials looting you know weapons um, rucksacks especially just because like I said you can only carry one rucksack of materials on your character but you can also carry eight at least up to eight in vehicles which is going to be huge moving forward because for instance when you go out in the open world there's only so many things you're going to be able to loot on your character depending on how big your backpack is and with that the more stuff you load down your character with the faster the stamina bar is going to go down while you're running the faster you're going to get tired and the and basically for instance if your stamina goes away really quickly and you get attacked by zombies you're going to be in a lot of trouble so here we're going to go over a few different backpack sizes so here you can see that we have the standard backpack which is 7.5 pounds and it says it is a medium sized backpack not too heavy but with limited space and it has six inventory slots in that backpack to carry materials and stuff in so here we have the small backpack which is only four pounds and it says a lightweight backpack with very limited space and this only has five inventory slots so and then all this is going to kind of go back onto your weight so depending on how much your backpack weighs and all the items that you put in your backpack is going to determine how fast your stamina and stuff goes down and here we have the hiking pack which is only six pounds but it's a low profile lightweight pack with plenty of attach points for storing extra gear and this has eight inventory slots which is probably going to be one of the better if not the best backpack in the game to use and then we're going to move over here to the inventory slot so this is over on the right hand side this is where we're looking so you're going to be able to carry up in the top left hand corner there you can see or up at the top very you can see your weight so that's basically going to overall going to show you if you're overburdened or not and then the top left box there you can see a little knife that is your close quarters combat weapon that we have on you at all times the top right is the melee weapon because you're allowed to have at least one good melee weapon on you. The bottom left there is your primary weapon which you can outfit with um, a suppressor or a muzzle brake. Um, and then right here over where I am on the screen right here where it says take, that is your spot for your rucksack. So then below that you can see your backpack and then the eight inventory slots that you're going to have in your backpack and stuff. And then you have a couple pockets where you can put you know consumables, um, meds and stuff like that. And this is going to be for every character. Depending on your backpack size, it's going to change the bottom half of the inventory screen there. But you're allowed to carry one uh, close quarters combat weapon, one melee weapon, one primary weapon, and one rucksack of materials, as well as your backpack full of stuff and your two pockets. So this is going to be huge because, like I said, all depending on what you're looting and how much weight you're carrying is going to determine how fast your stamina burns off. And that is going to allow you to either get into the shit with the zombies or not. So moving on here, this is a good look at the supply locker um, of the all items tab and the supply locker so up until this point we really never had a definitive answer of how many things we can actually put in our supply locker so I actually confirmed this with Jeffrey uh, one of the devs over at undead labs and he said basically the only limit to storing stuff in the supply locker is how much code in the game allows so for instance he basically said he went on to say that you know for instance you could probably put over 10,000 items in your supply locker and it's not gonna hurt anything 
because there really is no limit. So honestly, I thought there was going to be some sort of a limit to this because, you know, the amount of stuff that we can put in there, weapons, meds, materials, and stuff like that, I honestly thought was going to be capped at some point. But from the looks of it and from confirming with the devs, there is no limit to how many items you can actually put in your supply locker, which is going to be really cool. Honestly, I don't think you're ever going to really run into an issue with, you know, having too many items, I guess, just because, you know, you're going to be expending those items almost as fast as you are getting them most times, depending on how your play styles are and stuff like that. But that is a look into the storage and all that good stuff guys the reason honestly one of the reasons i'm putting up this video because you you and i know we got a lot of footage yesterday of people streaming undead labs as state of decay 2 because a lot of people got early access to the game review wise from microsoft to kind of start streaming the game tomorrow or excuse me yesterday at noon and so many people uh, that I saw, even from my Discord and stuff that we were watching, a lot of these people stream, and it literally looked like they've never played a game, anything similar to this, because they had no idea what they were doing. They had no idea what the, how the storage worked, how vehicle storage worked, how their inventory and stuff worked. So honestly, this is going to be more of a video for the people that don't understand exactly how State of Decay works. If you're new to the franchise, this is going to explain to you exactly how storage is going to work in vehicles, in your supply locker, in your inventory and stuff. But I just kind of wanted to put this video up just for those purposes and stuff so you guys would understand all the ins and outs of that and then also confirming how much storage room we have in the storage locker but that is pretty much all of the video guys if you guys enjoyed it you guys found it helpful you guys are excited for the launch of state of decay 2's ultimate edition in just over two days make sure to slap that like button also if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all things state of decay 2 i'm going to be covering this game very in depth leading up to and after the launch on may 22nd but that is all for now guys thank you all so much for watching and i will catch you guys later Peace out.